what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can store and retrieve uh, image uh, from firebase storage using javascript so let's begin so this is the database which we will use in this tutorial if you don't know the basics of firebase like uh, how to create a database and how to do the configuration do watch the video in the description so for now we will we will work in our HTML page. So I need a field named as image name. Then I have to use a, a image tag to showcase my image. No need of uh, this source or the alternative source. Just need an ID tag of my image and a label which will show the upload progress. I will also put line breaks over here. Now I need some buttons. One for the select selection and second for uploading the image and the third for retrieving the image i also have to apply a little style to the image you can do it in a separate uh, css file but uh, i will do it inside here so just image because we have only one image Now we need some Firebase libraries. So for that we will define these scripts. But it's necessary that all these libraries should have the same version and the latest version. This one has an older version. Let's see what's the latest version. So for that go to project settings. And here is your app so the latest version is 7.15.5 so 7.15.5 should be the version of all of the libraries I will provide all these libraries in the description so you won't have to write it now for the second part which is the variables now I have to define a script and I am doing all the work uh, in just one file but if you want uh, a second javascript file you can link it over here so this is gonna be our main script so now we will gonna define some variables so the first is image name image url var files equals to array and var reader new file reader now comes the part where we put our configuration so copy all this configuration now our first task is to select the image and let me show you how it looks so it looks like this i have zoomed the uh, i have zoomed the page up to 200 percent so that's why all the thing looks so big now in the selection process we will work on our select button so get element by id select dot on click equals to function and inside this i am declaring an input for the purpose that this is an easy way to summon the uh, open file dialog in javascript so so var input equals to document dot create element and I want an element of type input so in this input variable I'm gonna store uh, an HTML element of type input now this input would be of type file input dot click So I'm performing a virtual click over our virtual input button which which does this. So when I click select image it opens a file dialog and I can select an image and click open. So now when the input is on change this means that an image is selected equals E. I am using an arrow function here so you can search that on the internet files equals to e dot target dot files 
so whatever the file is chosen by the open file dialog we are assigning it to our array which is named as files so this is dead files so this shouldn't be here and here we will assign a new reader new file reader to our reader and a reader on load its on load event should be function and inside this we will mark the source of the image which is my image source equals to reader result and then reader dot read as data URL and we will uh, we want to read the files zero so we want to read the file at the index zero and the input click should be at the last so outside the on change event so this will do our so this will uh, do our trick this uh, method here will read the data as url so it can be assigned to the image source and whenever it is finished reading it will assign it to the image source so that is what on, on load event is all about now let me show you what it does so refresh and when I select an image so the image is shown over here all this process was for the purpose that the image should be shown over here now comes the upload process so down here I'm gonna work on the upload button so upload dot on click equals to function first I'm gonna assign the image name document dot ID in the name box so what whatever name I will give to the name box and then I will start the upload by declaring the upload task which is like this firebase dot storage dot reference now we have to give a reference that uh, in what way we want to store uh, our images in the uh, Firebase storage. So I want uh, uh, images folder and inside that folder the image would be saved by its name which is the image name and after that the extension which is gonna be png dot put so whatever the file is selected is gonna be passed within the put method so this is the file which uh, this is the image which we are putting in the firebase and this is the address which will be the destination of the image stored in the firebase storage now through the uh, through the method of upload task dot on state changed function snapshot first there will be a function which will show the progress of the upload so var progress equals to snapshot dot bytes transferred divide by snapshot dot total bytes multiplied by 100 now document dot get element by id and up progress so this is uh, this should be the id of our label this u should be bigger dot inner html equals to upload plus progress plus the percentage sign and the end so this fu uh, this function would calculate the progress of the upload so this won't be the end i need another function so comma and here I would declare another function and its argument would be error and its job would be to alert if some error appears error in saving image saving the image now we need a third function to submit the link of the image to the database so it can be retrieved later a comma over here so now uh, in the third function I need the upload task snapshot dot reference dot get download URL 
and then function URL the uh, variable which we declared in the variable section image URL will keep the URL which we retrieve from the Firebase storage so now let us save this URL to the Firebase database so database dot reference now we have to give it some reference so I will give it pictures slash plus the image name and set set the name as whatever is given in the image name and set the link to the image URL and after all this and this shouldn't be closed over here but it will also contain the firebase database method so let me explain all this whatever is happened here we are uploading picture we are uploading picture to the storage then over here in this function we are doing some error handling and over here we are submitting the image we are submitting the image link to the database so this is basically the entire function it starts from here and it's and all the way over here and inside this function I have these two lines which will start the upload then from here uh, this function this function over here uh, will show the progress of the upload this function will handle if uh, some error appears and after all that this function will retrieve a link from the firebase storage and save it to the firebase database and the purpose of doing this is later we can retrieve uh, the image from its url now before uploading an image we have to set the firebase storage so inside the storage we will click get started and start the firebase storage now inside the rules you have to paste these rules and then click publish these rules will also be given in the description so now uh, that these rules are changed now let's try to upload an image so Karachi upload the image and it's uploaded so now refresh the page so in the images folder the Karachi image is stored and inside the database here is a here is a folder named pictures and inside that folder there is an entity Karachi which has the name and the link to the image so if I copy this link excluding the quotes and paste it in my browser I can see the image so this can work as my uh, as the source of my image tag so this is what we're gonna do document dot retrieve and then on click equals to function tab tab and tab so the image name refresh the image name from the name box and then firebase database dot ref the reference uh, uh, is the same uh, as the as this so we have uploaded the image inside the uh, picture folder so we will retrieve the image from the picture folder 
uh, this should not be here but here then write on value like the data is retrieved in the firebase so function snapshot and here document dot get element by id and get me my image and i will change its source to the snapshot dot well which is the method for value dot link so this was the small process of retrieving an image by its name so let me refresh it so the image is gone now I can retrieve the image so the image is retrieved So this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time